So imagine you were back in 11th grade. You just moved to Utah from across the United States. Straight A student, high hopes for college. You get your first report card back, you look down at it, and you see a big fat F. This is a reality for so many students across our nation because about 20% of the states in our nation do not support the Common Core. The Common Core allows for students to move anywhere in the United States and still be held to the same academic standards. So today I want to talk to you about the Common Core and whether you know about it or not, whether you support it or not, it is important that you know what it is, how it affects you, and why you should support it. So the Common Core is a nationwide educational initiative that says all students should be held to the same high academic standards. I'm a special education teacher and next semester I'm going to be in the public school system. The Common Core affects my life on a daily basis, and that is why I want to talk to you about three specific points today. What is the Common Core? Why is there such a controversy? And how you should support it. So what is it? The Common Core, in as few words as possible, is a list of standards. Meaning, a list of goals that all students are held to about what they should know by the end of that academic school year. These goals are in reading, writing, and math. And these goals build off of each other throughout the year and then in subsequent years. Now law says that all states need to have a set of standards that they hold their students to. The Common Core was given to us as an option from the national government. So a little history about it. The official Common Core website says that the Common Core was made by a group of governors from each of the 50 states with the help of educational professionals. It was proposed in 2010, and at that time, all but four states accepted it, but since then, a few more have repealed it. So if we know that the Common Core is nothing more than a list of standards, why is there so much controversy? Well, there are a lot of myths and misconceptions about the Common Core. One of the biggest being that it brings everyone down to the lowest level, meaning if we set our goals so low, everyone can reach it. That's simply not true. Since the Common Core was proposed, not a single state has lowered their academic standards. Actually, the National Assessment of Educational Progress says that the average reading and math levels in elementary students has actually increased since 2009. And CoreStandards.org says that when the governors were making the Common Core, they looked at the highest performing countries in the world and then used their standards as a format to make the standards that we know today as the Common Core. So another big myth is that there was no research involved. Now, as I just said, the governors looked at the highest performing countries in the world. But on top of that, um, Liscombe University held a round table with some of these governors. And at this round table, they said that they looked at research from ACT, the college board, and Achieve to determine the highest factors of college readiness. Then they used these factors to create these standards. So because there are so many misconceptions and myths, I want to finish by talking about how you can support the Common Core. The Common Core is currently under attack. President Trump has proposed a new act that would not only do away with the Common Core, but any nationwide or statewide standards. In Utah, the Salt Lake Tribune says that 41% of Utahns are opposed to the Common Core. They have actually already drafted a new set of Utah true standards that they are willing to implement. So if you came into my speech today not knowing anything about the Common Core, I implore you to please learn more about it. If you came into my speech today already supporting the Common Core, great. Please keep on doing so and spread awareness about what the Common Core really is. Now if you came into my speech not having supported it in the past, please ask yourself why and then educate yourself about what the Common Core is and is not. As I'm wrapping up, I want to summarize some of my main points. First of all, the Common Core is nothing more than a list of research-based standards. Now, there are many misconceptions and myths about these standards, but that is why we need your support to spread awareness. I'd like to conclude with a quote from President Obama. He says, when a child walks into a classroom, it should be a place of high expectation and high achievement. That is why we have the Common Core. Thank you.